Perfect. Yeah, yeah we've an amazing um, webinar. Oh, if I can just ask to keep your mics on mute. I will. Okay, dokie. So good afternoon again, everybody. Welcome to this St. Lucia um, presentation and um, this wellness webinar and welcome to St. Lucia. So for those who don't know me, I, I am Nicole Compton. I am the sales and marketing manager for trade at the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. I am your gateway to St. Lucia, your encyclopedia on St. Lucia. So if you have any questions or you want any recommendations on where to send your clients, or if you just wanna tell me about an amazing booking that you've done to St. Lucia, you're welcome to drop me a line, drop me an email at any time. I would love to hear from you. I have some amazing guest speakers here with me today who will tell you all about health and wellness in St. Lucia and what that means to us in St. Lucia. First, after I've um, told you a little bit about St. Lucia, you'll be hearing from Candy Nicholas. She is a wellness consultant working with the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. She'll tell you all about what wellness means to us in St. Lucia and also share with you the six pillars that we've identified for wellness in St. Lucia. Giselle Stephen is the marketing executive at Body Holiday St. Lucia and also stolen time by Rendezvous. But today she'll be focusing on Body Holiday and telling you what it means, um, what the, their mantra means when you give your body to them for a week and they give you back your mind. Lovely St. Amy, she hopefully will be joining us. She is the PR manager at the Sufra Regional Development Foundation. And she'll be focusing on the Sulphur Springs Park um, in St. Lucia and the wellness benefits there is there. In St. Lucia, we have amazing natural um, excursions and experiences which can assist in the health and wellness of yourselves and also your clients. And last but by no means least, uh, Prisca Simon and Lionel Pierre will be telling, um, they're the partnership services um, their partnership services department of the St. Lucia, um, St. Lucia Community Tourism Agency in St. Lucia, and they will tell you all about the amazing initiatives that we have in St. Lucia that yourselves and your clients can also get involved in. So without further ado, we're going to move in today's webinar. I'm going to firstly tell you who she is, where she is located, what makes her special, how you get to her, and also at the end, well, throughout this whole webinar, you will come out away knowing why St. Lucia is the ultimate wellness suggest. So for those who don't know, uh, but I hope all of you know by now, for those who've been listening to me for quite some time, um, you will know that St. Lucia is the only country in the world to be named after a woman, which is why we say let her inspire you. She is an award-winning destination with year-round tropical weather, ranging from about 22 to 28 degrees Celsius, sometimes even in the high 30 degrees Celsius as well. She technically does have two seasons. Rainy season is from June to November. Dry season is from December through to May. But even during the rainy season, she gets little to no rainfall at all, or what we call liquid sunshine, because it is what helps her stay nice and green and lush. She's a boutique luxury destination with some of the top resorts in the world. And yes, we do like to brag. We do have some of the top resorts in the world. She's home to world-class gourmet dining and diving experiences. She also has excellent sporting facilities and event spaces, and she has rich, diverse attractions and a rich culture. A little bit about her resume, she's located in the Eastern Caribbean. She measures 27 miles long and 14 miles wide, and she can be described as a mango-shaped island. She is an independent nation since 1979 when she gained her independence from the British. She was actually seven times British, seven times French. Um, so the official language in St. Lucia is English. However, we do speak a Creole based language called Patois, which is part of that French um, heritage that we once had. Approximate population in St. Lucia is about 180,000 people. She is home to over 150 adventures and excursions, over 30 beaches, 22 dive sites, 25 waterfalls, rivers and springs, home to the Caribbean's only dry through volcano, also home to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Piton Mountains, and she has over 5,000 rooms available, ranging from your all-inclusives, your boutique properties, your villas, your inns, your Airbnbs, there is definitely something for everybody. She's um, perfect for all types of travelers, whether it's the romance traveler, she is known as the 
world's leading honeymoon destination. She's won that award 14 times. So it definitely goes to show that when people think of special romantic occasions, they definitely think of St. Lucia as one of their top choices. She's also home to dive enthusiasts with over 22 dive sites, some of them um, being right next to a UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Piton Mountains. Also home to uh, sort of perfect for sports and adventure seekers with zip lining, ATV biking, aerial tram tours, cricket tours that take place in St. Lucia, just to name a few. She's perfect for families, so you can families can enjoy relaxing days on the beach or, or are over the water um, water park, which is located in the Rodney Bay area. Now, one of my favorite things in St. Lucia is to try the abundance of culinary options. Everything that we serve in St. Lucia, we try to um, grow it in St. Lucia. So we do um, do a lot of farm to table and you'll be hearing a lot about some of those options in St. Lucia later on in the presentation. With that, you can also make chocolate in St. Lucia. You can visit the, the rum distillery and you can really get a sense of the island's um, different um, culinary aspects which come together to make our culture. She has year round um, calendar of, of festivals and events, uh, and I'll tell you about some of these up and coming festivals shortly. And she's also perfect for any yachting and sailing travelers. She is proud to be the home of the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers, the ARC, and um, that starts off in Las Palmas around November and ends in San Lucia about the first, the second week of December. And it's perfect for anybody who loves sailing, they get to sail to the Caribbean and possibly um, have. Um, Christmas in the tropics and what we are here to talk about today is health and wellness in St Lucia and you will by the end of this um, webinar have a great understanding of what health and wellness means to us and the offerings that we have for yourselves or for your clients. In St Lucia we say it is endless inspiration and we hope that everybody who touches her shores leaves inspired and hopefully that they will come back again. I'm now going to show you a short video on the on what wellness means to us, just to give you an idea of wellness in St. Lucia. So I hope that's given you a little idea of the wellness offerings in St. Lucia, but like I said, you will be hearing a lot more about our offerings shortly. We are proud to announce that as of the 1st of February, we no longer have any COVID requirements to St. Lucia, so we can finally stop saying the big C, hopefully. Um, so you no longer have to fill out any more health screening forms, any travel authorization forms, any um, take any vaccines or prove that you have any um, vaccinations or PCR tests to travel to St. Lucia. Um, if you do have any questions about that, you're welcome to reach out to me or email our TIC um, information desk in St. Lucia, and they're happy to answer any questions. Um, but you, all your clients have to do is book a trip to St. Lucia with you, and they are on their way to have the most amazing experience ever. A couple of useful facts, we're very easy to get to. We have direct flights from the UK, US, Canada, and the Caribbean um, with British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, and TUI from the UK. Um, we have two airports. International Airport is Georgia, Phil, um, sorry, is Hiranora International in the south of the island. And that's where all our flights from the UK, US, and Canada fly into. And we also have a regional airport, George F.L. Charles, in the, Cas the capital of Castries, where our flights within the Caribbean will fly in and out of. Transfer time is approximately 90 minutes by road and also 90 minutes by ferry to transfer from the south to the north of the island. And we do have an option of a helicopter transfer, which takes about 10 minutes to transfer between the north and the south. And any other result will just be a short um, road transfer away. We accept two currencies in St. Lucia, the Eastern Caribbean dollar and the US dollars accepted island wide. And all that we ask is that your passport is, um, is valid for the duration of your trip in St. Lucia and British and Irish passport holders do not require a visa. British Airways offers a daily service out of London Gatwick um, straight to St. Lucia in approximately eight hours and TUI offers a weekly service also out of London Gatwick. Virgin Atlantic does offer us a uh, winter service which flies three times a week between November, December and March so we've just got a couple more weeks of that winter service um, but that is a perfect fly for anybody connecting in from Europe because that flight leaves in the afternoon about one o'clock so they can catch a early morning flight into London Heathrow for example and that will be a great connection um, down to St. Lucia. 
I know some of you independent um, agents do have clients all over the world, so maybe they may want to transfer via North America. We do have some great connections there through some hubs like New York, Miami, Boston, Chicago, Philadelphia, just to name a few. And some of these flights offer a, um, a weekly service or at least one or two flights a day. Now, when your clients arrive in St. Lucia, they can be transported to their resort or their accommodation in style, whether it's a um, luxury vehicle for a road transfer or that sea um, ferry transfer as well. So this ferry pick, um, will take you into the local town of Viewfort, which is about 10 minutes from the international airport. And it takes you about 90 minutes to get to the north of the island. Um, the ferry can call into any of our ports. So either the Sufra port, the Marigo Bay Marina, or also the Rodney Bay Marina, or any of um, our hotels with their own marina facilities as well. Helicopter transfer is an amazing way for your clients to start their, their holiday because they get a really nice aerial view of the island um, and it's at only 10 minutes to transfer between the north and the south. So it does cut out a lot of that road transfer for your clients and then any other resort would just be a short um, road transfer. However, we do exclusively have one hotel, Jade Mountain, who has their own helipad. So if you have any clients fortunate, fortunate enough to stay there, they're able to arrive directly at their hotel with the helicopter company. Um, we have some amazing up and coming events. Our Solution Arts and Jazz uh, Jazz and Arts Festival returns from the 5th to the 14th of May this year. We have an amazing lineup. Um, tickets will go on sale from the 1st of March. Um, and there you'll be able to see the lineup as well. I know the headlining, um, one of the headlining acts on the Sunday is world renowned Sting. He's going to be performing in St. Lucia. And we do have a variety of other jazz artists as well. So if you have any clients in St. Lucia during those dates and they'd love to see any of the, the show, the the act, they can definitely check out um, the website for more details. We also have St. Lucia Carnival um, from the 1st to 19th of July. This is a celebration of our rich culture, our heritage through music, through dance, through colours, through costumes. And it's a great opportunity for um, locals to really experience what St. Lucia has to offer and, um, and through this culture that we want, that we have. Throughout the whole month of October, we do celebrate Creole Heritage Month, and um, that is a celebration of our um, French heritage that we once had. Um, we also have Creole Day, also known as Jeune Creole in Creole, which is celebrated on the last Sunday of the month in October. Just This is going to be the 29th of October this year. And this, again, is a great opportunity for um, guests to St. Lucia to really understand the culture, that culture of ours and to really partake in it. We have um, amazing Creole food that's being served on Creole Day. You do see this madras print all over the island whether it's at the hotels or some of the shops um, and you can learn a lot about our creole heritage as well atlantic rally for cruisers like i mentioned previously and um, that comes to st lucia every december so if you have anybody who's into sailing they can possibly participate in this and if they do have family members who are not into sailing they can always meet their family in st lucia and celebrate christmas in the tropics one of my absolute favorite things in St. Lucia is the Girls Lay Street Party. This takes place every Friday night except Good Friday and this in the town of Girls Lay. Um, and it's another great opportunity to try some local food, some local catches for the day. Um, for the day. Also a lot of the food that we grow in St. Lucia and also look our, our um, local bears and rums as well. Just want to highlight a couple of tour operators um, who are who do great wellness packages and definitely assist you with some of our wellness packages that we have available in St. Lucia. Um, you can check out Carib Tours, um, HF Holidays, Health and um, Fitness Travel, Ramblers, and also Heather Leah as well. Hopefully everybody on here is a St. Lucia expert, um, but if you're not, definitely head over to stluciaexpert.com and register. Um, there you can log, we encourage you to log all the bookings you make to St. Lucia. We do quarterly rewards. Uh, if you make an, a really big booking, sometimes I'll just send out some bottles of rum or hotel chocolate, chocolate. So definitely let me know if you do make any bookings and make sure you log them on here. Every year we do select our top 10 winners, our top 10 tour operator reservation staff and our top 10 travel agents. And we award them with the prestige title of our Global Peter Awards. And we then invite them and our guests to come to St. Lucia, where we just want to say thank you to them for booking St. Lucia, for recommending their clients to visit St. Lucia. We have an amazing gala dinner. We do a beach party, a boat party. And it's just a way for us to say thank you. No um, site visits. It's just a fun um, couple of days in St. Lucia. Um, so we shortly will be announcing our winners for 2022. Um, but you have from the 1st of January to the 31st of December of each year to log all your bookings that you make to St. Lucia. 
And last but not least, um, I would love for you to stay connected with us. So if you're not following us on Facebook, definitely join our trade Facebook page, St. Lucia Expert. You can definitely also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, uh, and then my email address is on the screen as well. But I will follow up with you all at the end of the webinar. I will send a copy of the recording and also any other information. If you do want a copy of the presentation as well, definitely let me know in the chat box and I can send that for you. And it is nice to see quite a few familiar names as well in the chat box. So thank you so much for joining us here today. And I am now going to be handing over to Candy, who is going to tell you all about wellness in St. Lucia. Oh, you're just on mute, Candy. <laughs> There we go. Hi, Vasine. Good morning or oh, good afternoon to everyone. Hi, Nicole. Thank you so much. It gives me great pleasure to be here. I'm a health coach, just a little about myself. I'm a health coach and a health and wellness journalist here on the, on the island of St. Lucia. And um, my role with the SLTA is to make sense of our wellness offering. St. Lucia is a wellness destination, whether we're trying to be or not by virtue of our natural landscape and the things that nature offers in St. Lucia, like I'm sure everyone knows about our Salt Springs, it's here on the screen, um, our Copper Falls, our forests that lend themselves to forest bathing and um, bird watching and diving and all of the other therapies that are available here naturally. But not just that, what we as humans have taken those things and done with them. So for instance, later on, you're gonna hear about um, the Body Holiday, which was one of the first wellness destination um, resorts. You're going to hear about the Sulphur Springs in a lot more detail. And um, you're going to hear about a whole host of other wellness offerings. Now, one of the things that we've done is identify the six pillars of wellness in St. Lucia. And the first of which is the natural healing qualities of the island. And as I mentioned, the sulfur springs, the rivers, the waterfalls, um, forest bathing, and all of these other things. Um, so there are many opportunities to be immersed in and healed by nature in St. Lucia. And then the second pillar is um, treatments and therapies that are authentically St. Lucian, as well as destination resorts, spa experiences, um, and they bring in experts from around the world. So at any point you can lend yourself to Ayurveda or traditional Chinese medicine or so many other branches of holistic um, wellness here in St. Lucia. The third pillar is the art of living and meditation. Um, and here on the island, we have many seasoned experts in the fields of meditation, energy healing, yoga, tai chi, um, breath work, and this is both within the resorts or at independent properties. The fourth pillar, medical meets wellness. Um, if our guests, because some people travel for wellness or the maintenance of health, and some people are now starting to travel for, you know, what they call medical tourism. So if there's anyone who wants to mix those two, we have world-class facilities as well as world-class experts, such as functional medicine doctors, um, aesthetic dermatologists, or also um, cosmetic surgery practitioners and all sorts of other medical offerings. The fifth pillar, as Nicole mentioned, is cuisine. And um, again, farm to table, you know, it doesn't even need a title because it's just our way of being, it's our way of living, it's our way of doing. Um, so there are many um, farm to table experiences, both in and out of the resorts. There are many um, food markets that are internationally acclaimed. Some of you may be aware of the Castries market um, being awarded by National Geographic as one of the top three food markets in the world, um, as well as many health food stores and other um, businesses that provide a lot of the health and wellness products and services that your um, guests or our guests would require. And the sixth pillar we've identified is sustainability. A lot of people travel for wellness, but they also, um, as part of that experience, want to make a difference. So um, many discerning wellness travelers, they're looking for opportunities to participate um, in our community tourism. They're looking for um, opportunities for helping with conservation and other such efforts. And there are many, many opportunities for that. Nicole, can I? Have some help with my slides, please. 
I wanted to go to. Oh, sure. You should be able to control the screen. Um, at the top, you should see something that just allows you to control your screen. Hmm. Okay, if not, I can, sure. I can flick that okay. for you. So, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> I can't find that. Okay, so can you go to, um, I keep going. So we identified the six pillars. We identified some of nature's therapy, um, therapies, as we call them. Um, pillar two, as I described, are the treatment therapies that are available within um, our world-class destination resorts. Um, we even have some resorts that are offering spa treatments that cater to specific health conditions. So the landing spa, for instance, um, offers treatments that specifically deal with helping women with hormonal conditions or postpartum conditions um, and um, that sort of thing. Next slide, please, pillar three. Yes, yeah, so mindfulness. Um, as I said earlier, we have many seasoned experts in that field. Um, Soul Sanctum comes to mind, where um, Marie Skeet and Randall Skeet have been art of living um, teachers since the 1980s. And they have a world class yoga studio, which they've just built, which are also built on the principles of, of Vastu, which is um, a sort of um, Ayurvedic feng shui, if I can call it that, that's the best way that I can explain it. Um, pillar four, medical meets wellness. So as I said, we have internationally trained um, experts in different branches of, of um, functional medicine and um, just medicine in general, if you're looking for that on your stay hair. And pillar five, healthy cuisine. So again, lots of internationally acclaimed food markets, lots of vegan and vegetarian restaurants. Um, juice bars, lots of healthy menu options at the various resorts and independent um, hotels. Also, there are actually detox programs and other such nutritional um, programs available within um, the different resorts. And pillar five, um, pillar six, sorry, um, opportunities for environmental um, involvement and conservation. You'll hear about our community tourism agency shortly. Um, and they aid the development of tourism related products and services that lead to the sustained livelihoods for all involved. And a lot of the projects that they have undertaken also fall into the wellness category. So I'll let them tell you more about that. Um, we have the St. Lucia National Trust, which is sort of preservation of our cultural and historical heritage of the island, the Supermarine Management Area, which helps to conserve and protect our marine environment. Um, if you are a diver or want to become one, you could actually go on diving excursions that help to preserve our coral reefs, lots of organic farming. We have many green group and other eco-certified accommodations. Um, and uh, we have a renewable, renewable energy goal, which focuses on creating the island's energy from a larger percentage of renewable resources, um, as well as many charity programs within the hotels, if your guests, our guests want to participate in that. So I've just, I've just been giving you an overview. We're going to hear more specifically about um, everything else from our lovely other presenters. <laughs> so thank you guys. Perfect. Lovely. Thank you so much, Candy, for those amazing pillars. And hopefully that's given um, our guest today some more details on what St. Lucia has to offer. So we're now going to head over to Body Holiday with Giselle. And I'm just going to go ahead and allow you control of the screen. Okay, thank you so much, Nicole. Hi, everybody. My name is Giselle Steven. I am the marketing manager here at Sunswatch Resorts, which is the parent company for Body Holiday in St. Lucia, as well as Tolan Time. Um, today, we're going to talk about Body Holiday. Our tagline is, give us your body for a week and we'll give you back your mind. And I'll explain that further for you. At Body Holiday, we provide a personalized experience of wellness and discovery where you will enjoy a transformational journey that is designed as an antidote to the pressures of modern day life. Body Holiday is located on a pristine crescent Caribou beach in the Northwest tip of St. Lucia, which is surrounded by lush tropical gardens, 
where we are the only resort to combine the pleasures of an active beach vacation with nearly with a nearly endless array of activities, body treatments, and opportunities to explore, discover, and gain insights that last a lifetime. Your body holiday will include everything you could desire and nothing that distracts you from the promise that we make to our guests. Give us your body for a week and we'll give you back your mind. Body holiday is built on four key pillars. They are relaxation, therapeutic cares, activities, and nutrition. Before I move forward, let me just show you a short video of what your body holiday experience will include. Welcome to St. Lucia. Welcome to Body Holiday, the world's best vacation of health and well-being. Amazing things happen when you introduce your body to your mind. Body Holiday aims to change people's lives one person at a time. A proper personalized program of wellness and discovery. Body Holiday includes everything you could imagine. and nothing that detracts from our promise to our guests. Give us your body for a week and we'll give you back your mind. All right, so as you heard here, Body Holiday aims to change people's lives one person at a time and it includes everything you can imagine. So with so many activities to do while on resort, you might be wondering, well, how do we find balance? So we encourage our guests to sign up for the activities, spa treatments, and of course their dinners, all of their breakfast, lunch, and dinners actually, before they even arrive. So that gets rid of the stress of planning while you're on the resort, if you do it before you even come in. Body Holiday is health and wellness. The beautiful wellness center is a unique place and an experience that you won't find anywhere else. It is voted one of the world's best destination spas by Condé Nast Traveler, and it is a focal point of the resort and a comprehensive center of health and well-being. It is here that our guests come to receive their pampering body treatments and that is designed to relax and re rejuvenate the mind and the body. Our wellness center is divided into four components. The first one is body science, which is based on an assessment of various factors, which include nutrients, hormones, and stress levels, heart health, circulation to establish the best course to better living. Then we have the Ayurvedic temple, which is led by an Ayurvedic doctor and com comprises of Ay Ayurvedic healing treatments and dosha analysis. Then we have the skin clinic, which carries an extensive range of non-surgical treatments and uses the finest skin care formulas, including products from IS Clinical, Casey and skin suticals. And then finally, we have the cream of the crop, which is our daily inclusive treatment. We have a list of 12 treatments, part of our inclusive list, and every guest would receive one of these 12 treatments every day of their stay, except on arrival or departure day. All right, so now we're going into our food and drink, f &B. Body Holiday consists of six dining outlets of international standard. It is all about finding balance and there is a bit of everything for everyone. Our first one is the ITAL experience, which is our organic Rastafarian farm to table experience. This is the only supplementary dining experience on the resort. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we have Tao, which is a vibrant and sophisticated restaurant which offers cuisine with influences from both the East and the West. Then we have the Pavilion Grill, which is situated at the Clubhouse. It is a step away from our beach and adjacent to the Clubhouse Bar, which you just saw previously, and it is our casual eatery. The food style here is simply simple and healthy, including grilled steaks, kebabs, fresh fish, seafood, and a little bit of indulgence as well. You can find pizzas and burgers. Then we have Caribou, which is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is our main restaurant that offers both healthy and indulgent dishes. Then we have Caribou Windows. Caribou restaurant that you saw previously is transformed, their buffet area, sorry, is transformed into a different restaurant four nights a week based on rotation. That, that additional restaurant is called Caribou Windows. And then finally, we have the Wellness Cafe that is along the boardwalk set aside on a terrace with tables shaded among trees under the open air of the Wellness Cafe. Body Holiday is also all about health and fitness. We have a wide array of different activities that are included as part of your estate. And these are just some of the activities that we offer. We do sailing school, we have scuba, kayaking, tubing, archery, golf, aqua aerobics, water skiing, cycling, everything that you can think of, it is being offered here at Body Holiday. We also have a very exciting adventure program. We offer a three peak challenge where our guests are challenged to climbing our three peaks on the island, Mount Jimmy, the Gopito, and Piti Pito within 24 hours. Unfortunately, none of our guests have been able to achieve this, so challenge is still on. Then we have the Pito Nature Walk. We offer rock climbing, mountain biking. We do an island quadrathlon and also an air, air water, um, waterfall abseil. Now we're going into our theme months. So during various months throughout the year, we celebrate various activities. During the month of March, we're highlighting sailing. Um, we offer sailing classes. We do uh, sailing seminars with our Olympians. We offer sailing workshops. We have discounts and specials on sailing excursions. And these are just sort of a few of things that we offer during spring sail. Then in June, we have Jive June where we have hosted professional dancers. We offer 16 dance classes per week with different styles of dancing, three dance classes per day, and one on a Saturday. We offer a Saturday night dance class at the pavilion and dance demos throughout the week. And of course, our F&B and Wellness Center will offer various specials that would complement whatever dance we're highlighting on the day. Then in July and August, we have Wellfit Tribes. And this is a month that, well, these months are dedicated to families. During this time, we have dedicated daily activities for teenagers, lifeguard training, cooking and nutrition classes, soft adventures. We do CPR training and mom and daughter beauty solo specials. During September, we're taking care of our solo travelers. So we have hosted communal tables, solo cocktail parties, weekly concerts. We do solo sunset cruise, sports tournaments, and dedicated group exercises. And this is in September solos. Then in October, we have October yoga. We offer Vedic foods on all menus. Uh, nutritional advice, dosha analysis, special treatments, nature walks, nature walks, sorry, and so much more. Then in November, we do swim fit. We have swimming fundamental talks and demos. We have group swimming classes, private swimming classes. We do open water tactic sessions. And of course, we have our annual one mile swim. 
And then in December, we have the pre-Christmas restorative break. And we always see why react when you can prepare. So every year, we always make our New Year's resolution early January. However, at Body Holiday, we're encouraging you to do that before Christmas so that when January comes around, you're already in the swing of things and you just need to continue your regime. Okay, so now we're going into our accommodation. Body Holiday is more than just a good night's sleep. We have several amenities, which includes free Wi-Fi, Bluetooth integrated sound systems, personalized and down service, organically sourced amenities, and we offer a pillow menu. We're going to talk about our villas. The first, we have the Oasis Villas. They are twin villas that are located right next to our wellness center. They host one penthouse on the bottom floor and a junior suite on the top floor. They can be sold separately as two separate units or all together for a family. Then we have Villa Hibiscus, which is the newest of our four villas. Villa Hibiscus sits right next to our room blocks at Body Holiday and, um, and encompasses three rooms, which takes six persons max. All rooms are based on double occupancy. Then we have Villa Firefly, which is the largest of the four. It is our five bedroom villa where we host families and retreats as well. Then we're going into our room blocks. We have one penthouse at Body Holiday. And if you notice on the bottom right corner, the penthouse also has a hammam where you can have a therapist come down to do your treatments for you in your rooms. Um, in, on this slide as well, I just want to mention that we have no televisions in any of our rooms. So what you see on the top left corner is not a television, it's just a screen so that you can plug in a thumb drive, work on a presentation, but not television. Then we're going into our grand luxury oceanfront suite and our junior suites. Next, we have the oceanfront rooms. And then we have the garden view rooms and the luxury rooms. Okay, let's talk about body holiday retreat. The retreat that can change your life. We offer a Vedic retreat the cleanse and detox retreat, the mindfulness retreat, as well as a yoga retreat. And of course, at Firefly, we do a weight loss retreat as well. All right, so that is the end of my presentation today. My name is Giselle Steven, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to reach out at any point in time. My information is on the screen. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Giselle, for that amazing presentation. Um, hope you guys in the, the webinar saw some of the amazing programs they have available in March. So if you have any clients looking for a last minute holiday or want to just relax, go for some health and wellness, then they can definitely consider Body Holiday as one of their choices. So we're now going to be heading um, to Sulphur Springs Park with lovely St. Amy. Um, I am gonna hand over control. So you'll be able to um, control your slides and she'll tell you all about the health and wellness benefits at the Sulphur Springs Park. Oh, lovely, are you there? Hi, good day everyone. Are you hearing me? Yes, we're hearing you okay. Hi, good day, everyone. My name is Lovely St. Amy Joseph. Lovely, as in the word. <laughs> I am the Corporate Communications and Marketing Manager with the Super Regional Development Foundation, and we operate the Sulphur Springs Park. So let me take you through the presentation. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. Let me try to switch to full screen. All right, so Sulphur Springs Park.
Okay, I think Giselle needs to give a course on handling. Okay, here we are, okay. I'm trying to head back to give you just a brief history of Sulphur Springs Park in Soufre. I might need some assistance here. I'm trying to go back to slide one. Uh, if we could, if somebody can jump in and. Yep, there we go. You should be back. At your <laughs> All right. My apologies for that. Thank you so much. So, Sulphur Springs Park is a geological marvel and it is St. Lucia's most famous and premier visitor attraction. The park is advertised worldwide as the home of the world's only drive-in volcano for the visitor's ability to drive and walk right into the heart of a dormant volcano. Just beside the park's entrance are the famous black water pools. This area boasts natural open air hot water pools and changing rooms. You can dip your feet in this black mineral rich pool, or if you're more adventurous, take a full bath in its 38.7 degrees Celsius waters. We also have the pool of love. It is a small intimate clear hot water pool that is fed from mineral water that emerges from deep beneath the surface of the earth. Oh, let me head into my second slide here. Do I? Right, so as I was explaining, Sulphur Springs Park features the Blackwater Pools and the Pool of Love. Let's talk about why Sulphur Springs Park is great for wellness. Whether you're traveling primarily for wellness or simply seeking to maintain your wellness while traveling, Sulphur Springs Park is a must. Come experience how our springs alleviate the effects of stress and anxiety on the body, restore and rejuvenate your body and mind. Let's talk a little bit about the therapeutic and medicinal properties of the Sulphur Springs. We know that with exposure to a thermal bath, the direct action of the temperature of the hot springs is received and minerals begin to be absorbed in small concentrations in the skin. Once in the body, minerals are deposited in the subcutaneous tissue and from there exert their action by activating the organic metabolism. Repeated thermal baths, especially in periods of three to four weeks, can help normalize the functions of the endocrine glands, and the general functioning of the autonomic nervous system of the body. There is also an improvement and stimulation of the immune system, mental relaxation, and endorphin production. There are skin diseases that can have a marked improvement in hot sulfur baths. Conditions that benefit most are psoriasis, dermatitis, and fungal diseases. The baths can also help in the healing of other skin injuries. So every visitor to Sulphur Springs Park has the unique opportunity to choose from either our black or clear water pools to experience their restorative powers and to use the mud for added skin benefits. So now we move into the skin benefits. I'm going to scheme through. We know that the success of sulfur baths in treating skin diseases such as psoriasis and dermatitis is supported by science. Sulfur is a naturally occurring element that has many uses that are amazing for your skin. In fact, New York City-based board certified dermatologist, Marina Perido MD told a law magazine that sulfur with its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties works to absorb excess oil that causes acne by drying out the surface of the skin and unclogging pores. The element's properties are also, that, that should be also make it a great gentle exfoliator, which means that it can help with other skin issues like eczema and rosacea. Add in the element of a thermal bath and you have an effective treatment for skin ailments. We had a consultant in the Department of Dermatology 
Um, and he was he also works with the skincare brand La Roche Posay and indicated to Healthline Publication that formal sulfur baths offer a variety of benefits such as hydrating skin, reversing UV damage. We know that's a big concern. The sun has so many harm can have so many harmful impacts on the skin. And thermal sulfur, sulfur baths also help to reduce inflammation. Now let's talk about what the sulfur springs can do for your body and your muscles. A visit to our springs will surely bring relief to your muscle aches and pains. Again, research shows that the therapeutic bathing in mineral baths, also called balneal therapy, can help treat several types of musculoskeletal conditions, including those that cause arthritis and fibromyalgia. Some of the noted benefits, it supports the treatment of arthritis, soothes back pain, and helps fibromyalgia patients. In the research paper, Therapeutic Benefits of Balneal Therapy on Quality of Life of Patients with Rheumatoid Arthritis, a systematic review, it was concluded that balneal therapy benefits the quality of life of people with rheumatoid arthritis. Now let's look at some of the general wellness benefits. In general, people who soak in the black or clear water pools at Sulphur Springs Park notice an improvement in their mood and their feeling of general well-being. This is supported by research in Spain that showed such thermal mineral baths lead to significant improvements in pain, mood state, sleep, and depression. The Spa Industry Association itself notes that the general effects of bathing in mineral waters are muscle relaxation, improved blood circulation in the tissues, mobilization of the immune and nervous and endocrine systems, activation of metabolic processes, and of course, relaxation. So to conclude, Sulphur Springs Park is a must when visiting St. Lucia. For wellness benefits, all of the wellness benefits, some of them we could not go into too deeply, but we'll mention you can do your research as needed and get a better understanding of why one visit to Sulphur Springs Park, as we often say, will leave you looking and feeling 10 years younger. Thank you very much. Lovely. Thank you so much, lovely, for that amazing presentation. I can't echo everything that you said enough. Like uh, one bath in the Sulphur Springs does make you come up looking and feeling 10 years younger. So we definitely recommend for yourselves, for your clients, for anybody going to St. Lucia, even if they're on a cruise and they're just going for the day, they definitely need to head down to our Caribbean's only drive through volcano. Thank you so much. So we're moving swiftly on because we want to try to keep this within the hour. We're now going to be heading to the Community Tourism Agency with Mr. Lionel Pierre. Good day, everyone. Let's just make sure I have control of the screen. All right. Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, Lionel PM, alongside my supervisor, Ms. Priska Simon. We're from the Partnership Services Department of the Community Tourism Agency, or we want to call it a household name, CTA. Um, so we'll feel free to call us the CTA from here on on. So the CTA has done extensive research in understanding travel trends and so forth. Uh, my previous slide would have showed some of the travel trends, but since um, I'm getting some technical issues, I'll just explain and basically, the travel trends explain that um, what kind of travelers travelers are there. Um, the expert guide, the low budget traveler, the citizen traveler, the service over bling traveler, the milestone traveler, the the travelers who are all about sustainability, the wildlife traveler, and um, 
the space and health traveler. So ideally, um, the new traveler is one who is one who is into um, vacation is now an extension of a life for travelers. They now crave a means of self-fulfillment. Um, the needs of travelers are changing in today's world to that of emotional uh, recreation through activities and experiences which are not possible in everyday life. With that came the realization that tourism, the tourism industry as a whole needs to engage in developing new ways of doing business that are good for the companies and good for the communities and environments where they operate which came the emergence of responsible tourism. Moving. Oh. You want me to help or are you okay? Yes, you please do. <laughs> you should. So we're have... trying to move to the next yeah. one here. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next. I think there's a something on the screen, which is why it you have to double click, maybe. All right. So community tourism, um, basically, it means it's a form of sustainable tourism that showcases local culture, local sites, attractions, um, replace high value in traditional values and the heritage of the people of St. Lucia um, in all our communities. So basically, community tourism is geared towards bringing out that experience, that adventure for all our guests uh, who visit our country. Next slide, please. Okay, so thank you so much, Leonel. Um, hi everyone, good day, I'm Friska. And of course, our focus at the Community Tourism Agency, it's a simple one, but very effective. So we, our focus is the C, do and stay concept. See, do, stay, come and see what we have. We have lots to offer. We have lots for you to engage in and participate in. That's the do. And we have plenty options for you to decide where you would like to stay, which community you would like to spend that time and experience what the offerings are. And of course, in this case, as we speak of wellness, this, this is, is, is going to be the focus during our presentation, today's presentation. Next slide, please. That's our focus. So our story, a little bit of all of our story. Our community, we believe that our community has possessed the most uh, authentic solution experiences. And of course, these communities are, are our most valuable assets. The most valuable assets in our communities are our people. So everything that we do, everything that we, we, we engage in, it surrounds people. Um, so at the core of the CPA is the belief in people and community. We believe it goes hand in hand. We believe in diverse minds working together to positively impact the lives and livelihoods and of course, the environment around them. If I may have the next one, thank you. Our purpose. Why do we exist? The Community Tourism Agency is here to support local communities. Oh, we're just losing you, Priska. Um, your, okay. your, your sound's going a little bit low. Okay, can you hear me now better? Yes, perfect. Okay, fantastic. So I was ex explaining our purpose, and that's the slide that you have up. We're here to support local communities, preserve culture and heritage, and do it all with as light as a, foot a footprint as possible. So we, we are here as it pertains to wellness, 
we provide our partners um, who would who would engage us, who would who would be there to where we would provide the services to them. We provide our partners with the support that we need in order to provide the services that our guests, locals alike, can enjoy in a in a way that our culture is preserved and the environment is preserved and everything is done in a sustainable fashion. So we also encourage growth of locally owned authentic products and services. That may be the next slide, um, Nicole. Oops. Go back. Go back. If we can go back to the, 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 the slide before this one. Um, it won't let Please. me go back for some reason. Um, let me see if I can just come off this. I'll do it again. 